Hi, I'm Mark Corkins. I'm a pediatric gastroenterologist, hepatologist, and nutrition expert at Le Bonheur Children's Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee. Of course, my true love is nutrition, and I'm a certified nutrition support clinician. So I wanted to talk to you about milk. Why do we wait till a year to go to whole milk? Why do we use formula and breast milk the first year of life? Well, there's a reason for that. Breast milk and formula are designed to be a sole source of nutrition. For the first few months of life, it's their only source of nutrition in an infant. It's designed to give them all the vitamins, all the mineral, protein, carbohydrate, and fats that they need to grow and gain and develop. Of course, we know that sometime during infancy, we start introducing solids, and we start introducing different kinds of solids, and they learn to eat, and you add meals and snacks, and, and you're transitioning as you go. But really, not till a year of age, really, you have a good variety uh, and a good schedule in place. And at, at that point, then when you've got those other foods in your diet, and you're getting those vitamins and minerals and other nutrients from other sources, then you can go to cow's milk. Therefore, the recommendation is formula or breast milk to roughly a year of age. Some people will do it a little longer, but it's usually recommended about a year of age. What about transitioning? One of the uh, things we also see, and is probably the best way to do it, is that as you start introducing the whole milk, you start doing it in a cup. Why would you start doing it in a bottle? They should be transitioning from a bottle to a cup anyway. So why not put the whole milk in a cup? They should be working on those skills as they go along. So the transition should be pretty easy. You go to whole milk, you start using a cup, you get rid of the bottles, and then you get rid of the formula or the breast milk as you transition.